Want to generate an image with a consistent face every time? Look no further. Reactor is a great extension for stable diffusion and it works like a charm. No matter what, please make a habit of keeping your GPU driver updated. It helps prevent any unwanted errors. If you haven't installed Stable Diffusion, you can watch this video to get started. While this version of Stable Diffusion is not the latest, it allows Customs Luda to be used and generates images instantly. The latest version will install Luda on its own, and the first time image generation will take 30 minutes to an hour, depending on your hardware. If you plan to install the latest Stable Diffusion, you can skip the manual's Luda setup. First, download Visual Studio 2022 Community. Make sure you select Desktop Development with C++ during the installation. Before I begin, I need to warn you that this extension installation took me around 28 minutes to complete, so you might want to grab a coffee or do something else while it is installing. Start up your stable diffusion. Go to Extensions, Install from URL, and paste the URL from the pinned comment. Then click Install. After it is done, you will be greeted with a notification that it has finished installing. You will need to go to the Install tab, click Check for Updates, followed by Apply and Restart UI. The command prompt will reload a few times to install three dependencies, namely ONNX Runtime GPU, Albumentations version 1.4.3, and Insight Face version 0.7.3. My command prompt loaded a total of three times before the web UI reloaded. The next time you launch your stable diffusion, you might get this error. Error. The ONNX runtime GPU distribution was not found and is required by the application, just like I did. Notice that it has no problem downloading ONNX runtime GPU, but it just won't install. I read on a forum that it is somehow related to using ONNX with DirectML. Since I am using Zluda, this could be the reason for this error. If you know the exact reason, do let me know in the comments below. I tested the reactor a few times, and it doesn't seem to affect its functionality. To use reactor, write your positive prompt in stable diffusion as you normally would. Check the reactor and expand it. I chose my favorite girl, Mona Lisa for this example, and kept all the settings as default. Then click on generate. If you run this for the first time, Stable Diffusion will download Buffalo L.zip, so please be patient. I didn't like the first picture because of the fingers, so I generated it again. This time, the picture was a lot better. I hope you find my video useful. Subscribe or donate if you enjoy it.